Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from the cubicle.us. In here, we have two puzzles from the new cubicle custom service. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So it looks like everything's a little bit banged up right now. Yeah, the boxes are a little bit messed up, but here we are. <laughs> All right, so here are the two puzzles that I got. Uh, this one is the GAN 354, and this one is the GTS 3M. Before we get into these puzzles though, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the ordering process real fast, because it was a little bit different from the way that I would normally get puzzles from the cubicle. So when Phil talked to me about making this video, he wanted me to actually go through the ordering process on the website and even create a new account under a different name to make sure that the pro shop people didn't know it was me. He even gave me a gift card to use so I wouldn't use my own card under my own name. I still had it sent to my address, but I don't think the pro shop workers see that information anyways. Basically the idea was just to place an order like all of you guys would to see if the quality of the puzzles would be the same as the puzzles they normally send me and if the shipping time was about the same and all that kind of stuff. So I created a new account under a different name and then I went to order the puzzles. The first one was a GTS 3M with a spring compression setting of four and lubical black on the core. You can pick up to three piece lubes, so I went with DNM, Compound 5, and Angstrom Dignitas. Now, I'm not sure how those lubes will combine, but I think neither will most of the people ordering either, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. The second cube I ordered was the GAN 354M, and for this one, I went with the yellow GES nuts, weight four on the core, and then for my three piece lubes, I went with Compound 10, and then Angstrom Gravitas and Dignitas. So I ordered the puzzles on the 13th, they shipped on the 16th, and the package arrived on the 19th. So really fast shipping, especially considering that these are custom cubes. That's actually a faster processing time than what is estimated on their website. It says five to seven business days for processing, and my order only took three days. So I'm really happy with that, especially since they didn't know it was me. But now we get to see what the cubes are actually like. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so now onto the puzzles. Uh, I actually did film the whole unboxing process and taking it out of the packaging and everything. Um, but as it turns out, my microphone wasn't recording for that portion. So just real quick to show uh, the boxes, they're a little bit torn up, but they're much bigger than uh, what you would get with the cube. They also have like the order information here. And the reason they're bigger is just because that they uh, still have all the accessories that would come with the cube. So the 354 comes with the other uh, GES nuts and you know the uh, GTS-3 comes with all of the um, tensioning options and spring compression stuff and everything like that. They also come with stand. I got two orange stands here and they come with these cubicle custom cards uh, that basically shows that um, You know each pro each step of the process was done by a certain person So all of those things are definitely very nice touches um, So I already filmed the first impressions of this puzzle, but not this one. I haven't turned this one yet uh, But just to quickly recap uh, the 354 it's definitely a lot slower right now out of the box than the one I have and the tensions are pretty good They're a little bit loose though. Um, they're really not all that much looser than the the puzzle that I have but because the cube is slower uh, the looser tensions are more noticeable because like you're putting more force into making the turns which can kind of make like the layers kind of split apart a little bit more when you're turning it uh, I don't know it's just more noticeable to have loose tensions on a slower puzzle basically the lube choices that I made with this one were just kind of like totally random um, well kind of like I, I went with an old lube for the core so I did like wait for which is like a super old cubicle lube uh, and then for the piece I went with like three newer lubes that are kind of like slower lubricants like uh, at least some of them are but they're just newer so I went with compound 10 angstrom dignitas and angstrom gravitas um, and I, I kind of had no idea what those like three lubes how they would combine in the cube so I was just you know interested to see uh, what it would be like you know to, if you just pick totally random like a totally random lube combination without really knowing uh, what the lubes were going to uh, interact like within the puzzle just to kind of see what it would be like um, so the puzzle is okay out of the box um, I'm hoping that you know the, like the more I'm turning it I've been turning it a lot in this video and the more I'm turning it the faster it's getting of course um, you know it's still not as fast as I want it to be but I'm thinking that after a fair bit of breaking in and maybe even tightening the tensions down a little bit, uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, another thing is I did get this with the yellow nuts just because those are the ones that I prefer because um, I've tried the green and the yellow nuts and I definitely like the yellow more. So that's just what I went with for this cube. And then for this cube, the GTS-3, I actually wanted to do something that 
was maybe a little bit more practical just because I don't have a uh, properly set up GTS 3M yet and I still want to review this puzzle. So this one has a spring compression of four. So there's basically eight levels of spring compression. So I got one that was right in the middle. For the core, I got Lubical Black. And then for the pieces, I got DNM 37, Compound 5, and Angstrom Dignitas. So all lubes that are meant to be make the cube faster and smoother and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully these lubricants will, will work well in here. Um, let's just go ahead and try it out. So already out of the box, I like that quite a bit. Something that I don't really like about this cube that really doesn't have anything to do with the performance, just kind of wanted to point it out, is I don't really, I really don't like the way the cube sounds. It's just way too high pitched and, and loud, um, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the performance itself. It's just kind of a nitpick. Uh, the turning is really good. It's quite smooth, uh, which is what I was expecting with, you know, the Angstrom lube, um, but it also still feels quite speedy and controllable. Uh, the nice thing with the spring tension is that it's, you know, it's really easy to change. So I just picked the, the, uh, the option that I picked just because it was a nice middle of the road option. Uh, but that's something that I could definitely mess with as well. Uh, tensions on this cube. Let's go ahead and test out corner cutting. See how even they are. Everything feels good. Everything seems good. Feels a little bit more resistance on some sides than others, but that's just kind of to be expected anyway. Uh, but overall, I mean, like there's no sides where it can't cut past 45. So that's definitely a good sign. This one, you know, gr this side definitely has a little bit more trouble, trouble, but overall it, it's, it's pretty similar. So again, this one I think is going to take, you know, need some breaking in as well. Um, but yeah, basically the whole idea uh, for this was just to order cubes without the pro shop knowing that I'm the one getting them. Um, basically, a lot of people feel like the testers get preferential treatment in the way that their cubes are set up. And so this was kind of an experiment just to kind of show that we don't. Of course, it isn't really possible to exactly prove that, you know, if they knew I was getting this cube with this exact setup, it would be different than if they didn't know, um, you know, just because it's not the same setup that you would get with one of their like pro shop cubes. People just get an idea that, you know, because I'm a tester and because I have a bigger channel uh, that, you know, they're going to spend more time on the puzzle that they send to me than a puzzle that they're going to send to, you know, a normal customer, which from what I can tell is not true. These cubes seem just as well set up as any puzzle I've received from the cubicle in the past. Um, you know, I'm not noticing any major differences. So I don't think it really makes that big of a difference as people seem to think. Another thing I wanted to point out is these logos. These are super, super nice logos. You can kind of uh, like look at it from any angle and it still like makes sense, you know, like it doesn't really have one like right side up or anything. So I think it's a really well-designed logo, especially for a cube that's always being held in different orientations. Um, so yeah, well done to Damien. I'm pretty sure he's the one that designed the logo. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go solve with these cubes a whole bunch and then I'll come back and let you guys know more about the cubicle custom service, more about the new cubicle website and more about how these cubes perform in the long run as well. Okay, so it's been about a week or so since I unboxed the cubes. So I've had some time to break them in at this point. So I just wanna talk a little bit about how both of these cubes are currently performing over top of these solves I just recorded. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting with the GTS-3, after I unboxed it and started solving, I initially actually didn't really like it that much. It was just way too sluggish. It didn't seem to be getting any faster. I figured this may have been due to the Lubical Black, which was on the pieces. So I wasn't really sure how to fix it. I ended up cleaning out a tiny bit of the lube, really not that much. I only wiped off like three pieces and then redistributed everything and broke it in a bunch more. It took a bit of time to really break in, but it finally started getting faster after I started getting used to the speed. And right now, I actually really like it. It's not as fast as my other GTS-3, but I actually prefer the custom one more because it has a much more controllable and smoothed out feel. So performance has been really solid and I haven't dealt with too many locking problems and I'm really starting to like the ridges as well. They seem to actually help a little bit instead of just being there to look cool or anything like that. Uh, and I've been able to get some pretty great times with it, including a 10.2 PB average of 12, which was really nice. 
So I'll be doing a full review on this cube after the 356X, so look out for that as well. So now onto the custom GAN 354. This is a similar story to the GTS 3. This cube was just way too slow, even after the first 100 solves or so of the break-in. I didn't actually clean anything out of this puzzle. The only adjustments I made were to the tensions. I actually tightened it up quite a bit, but it's still able to corner cut just fine. I just had to keep on solving with the puzzle and finish the break-in process, and at this point it's actually decently fast, but very, very controllable. I find it to be much more controllable than my faster stock 354, which I'm actually not sure if I prefer on this cube in particular. On the custom cube, I actually can turn really fast and still not worry about losing control that much because the cube is slower, so it compensated for the faster turning, but I can still turn fast on my faster 354 and not overshoot or anything like that, so I tend to prefer it. I basically just get tired faster solving with the custom 354, even though I really like the feel because of the angstrom lubes. I just prefer the faster cube in this instance, but it's still a really solid puzzle that I've also gotten some really awesome averages with. So overall, both these cubes are really, really good, which I'm super happy about. I'm definitely liking this cubicle custom service more and more, but I want to explain it more because it's still pretty new, and I know some people have had a lot of questions about it. So first of all, cubicle custom is not replacing the pro shop, cubicle labs, or angstrom research cubes. Those puzzles are still available on their new website, thecubicle.com, which I'll talk more about later. Everything in those lines of puzzles are made according to how the cubicle thinks they should be set up, and in a way they sort of mass produce them. So they make them in bulk so that if you order a pro shop or cubicle labs or angstrom puzzle, it'll be able to be shipped out faster. The custom line is so that you can really make sure that the cube is going to be set up how you like, or maybe if you want to try a new lube combo but don't have all the loops do it yourself, or anything like that. I still think it's a great option for people like me that suck at setting up cubes and would just rather pay to have someone who's much better at doing it do it for me. And that's why these cubes have a premium price because the cubes have to be custom made, especially if it's a puzzle that needs to be magnetized and re-stickered. Unfortunately, I didn't get a cube like that because both of the cubes I chose were pre-magnetized and stickerless. But if you say ordered a GTS2 and you wanted stronger magnets, it would cost 20 extra dollars and 10 extra dollars to replace the stickers. So a custom GTS2 would actually end up being more expensive than a custom GTS3 because more work has to go into making it. Basically, you can either pay less to get a cube that is set up how the cubicle likes it and just hope that you like it as well, or you can pay more to have full control over exactly what goes inside the puzzle if you know what lube combo you want or something like that. I've also seen that people have been complaining about the price a bit, which I'm not totally understanding. For example, a cubicle pro shop Waylong GTS 3M is $39 but a cubicle custom GTS-3 is $46. So really not that much of a difference considering you get to choose exactly what goes in the cube. It's a little bit different when you compare prices of cubes that have to be magnetized though, and I think this is where some of the confusion really occurs. For example, a cubicle labs Yushin Little Magic in black is $23, but a custom Little Magic with the exact same configuration as the cubicle labs Little Magic is $43. So I have no idea why it would cost $20 more for the exact same cube. Uh, I think it would just make a lot more sense if you chose the same configuration in the cubicle custom website as one of the pre-made cubes, it should cost the same amount. It would make way more sense for it to cost more if you chose a different magnetic option or a different lube option from what is normally used in the cubicle labs options. That's really just a nitpick though and something that I'm sure they could update with the website. It still makes sense if you're choosing a different lube combo from what they've pre-made because now they have to go and make it specially for you, which is going to cost extra. Overall though, I really don't think the price is that outrageous. If you want to go and buy a cube, buy the magnets, buy the stickers, and buy all the lubes you want to put in the puzzle and do it all yourself, that's totally fine and you can still definitely do that. But there are a lot of people that just don't want to do all of that, like me, <laughs> which is where this service really comes in. I think there are still some bugs to work out and some tweaks that can be made, but I think it's definitely a step in the right direction for cube customization options in the future. Okay, so now I want to talk about the new website because that's also caused a lot of confusion. So recently, the Cubicle launched their new website, thecubicle.com, but but they also haven't shut down the old website, thecubicle.us. So why is that? Well, basically the way I understand it, the old website is being used for cubicle custom, stickers, spare parts, stuff like that. And the new site is for everything else. So if you click on any of the products on the old website, it will just redirect you to the new website. I think the thing that's been confusing to people from what I can see is that all of the cubicle labs, pro shop and angstrom stuff has disappeared from the old website. And now it's just cubicle custom. But if you go to the new website, 
all of those things are still there. So I wanna take this opportunity to give a quick tour of the new site as well. So here we are on the home page. Basically everything on this main page looks pretty similar to the old site. It's just a new design with all the categories running along the top instead of on the side. But we can see the same announcements area, featured products and brands, and new arrivals. When you go to shop for different kinds of puzzles, you can see a new way of sorting the products along the side with a whole bunch of criteria that you can pick from. When you click on a product, you can see the new way that all the information is organized. There's also a lot more bundles that they've just added on the new site, which are always great to look at with the holiday season upon us now. Basically, everything just looks cleaner and newer and nicer. It's a lot more streamlined now on both sides, actually. Since there aren't any custom cubes on the new site as of yet, processing time will actually be faster for all of you guys since everything you can order on the new site are stock products, including the premium stuff, because like I said earlier, that stuff is all made ahead of time. So over the winter, the two sites will be separate, but they'll be permanently merging after that, so it'll just be one website, which will definitely be a lot simpler. One thing that I'm not particularly a fan of is that your login credentials don't carry over from the old site, so you do have to make a new account, but... Really, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something that would have been nice, but I also understand why it wouldn't work. But overall, I think the new site is gonna be really good in the long run. There's just been a bit of an adjustment period that's been going on, and it'll probably continue to go on until the sites are totally merged. Anyways, guys, that's really about it for this video on these two custom cubes and the new Cubicle website. Definitely be sure to check out the custom cubes if you're interested. I'll leave a link to the Cubicle custom page in the description, and of course, the new website so you guys can go and explore it and shop on it all you want. Thanks, of course, to the Cubicle for sending me these cubes for free to review, and of course, for sponsoring the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.